If after the vehicle identification process you wish to switch to diagnosis, either Eccentry Diagnostics or DAS will be started, depending on the model series. If Eccentry recognizes from the VIN that the vehicle model series is 204 or later, Eccentry Diagnostics will be started automatically. In the case of all earlier model series, DAS is started automatically in a separate window. Now start a diagnosis from the overview screen with the identified vehicle, the now familiar model series 204. To do this, click on the appropriate button. Eccentry Diagnostics is started automatically. The general user interface is essentially identical with that of Eccentry. However, Eccentry Diagnostics does display some additional features. Click on the highlighted areas. Eccentry Diagnostics essentially has two views the Functions view and the Control Units view. When you select Diagnosis, the Functions view is active by default. Both views are described in greater detail in their own separate chapters. Eccentry Diagnostics essentially has two views, the Functions view and the Control Units view. When you Special functions is where you find everything about retrofitting and conversions. The top status line displays additional status information and key functionalities, such as the battery voltage and the status of communication with the vehicle. As soon as communication is established, the symbol is active, as in this case. Also displayed is the ignition status. In addition to the continue and back buttons, which you are already familiar with, there are also some additional buttons displayed along the bottom edge. What these are depends on the screen view in question. These buttons enable you to open additional functions. You will learn more about these in the following chapters. Before you learn about Eccentry Diagnostics in depth, you should familiarize yourself with the basic diagnosis processes that Eccentry Diagnostics features. As already mentioned, Eccentry Diagnostics has two views, the Functions view and the Control Units view. It is possible to carry out a quick test in both views. However, this is not absolutely essential for a diagnosis. Instead, a vehicle function or a control unit can be selected directly. In the control units view, you have direct access to information about the selected control unit. By contrast, in the functions view, Eccentry Diagnostics finds all the components and signals involved in the selected function and makes these available in an overview. If Wiz Azranet and Eccentry Tips are open from the function overview, they will refer directly to the function being investigated. A guided troubleshooting function is also available. There is also the expert mode, which can only be called up from the function overview. Expert mode has the same structure as the control unit's view, but differs in that it shows all the components that are involved in the selected function. The advantages of Eccentry Diagnostics, therefore, are that it offers further diagnosis options and extended troubleshooting. A more detailed description of the views and functions can be found in the corresponding chapters. In practice, it may be worthwhile to either carry out the diagnosis via the functions view or the control units view, depending on the diagnosis situation in question. You can switch between the two views at any time. Which view you select depends specifically on the problem, the degree of familiarity with the vehicle, and the experience of the workshop employee. For example, in the case of new model series, it makes sense to opt for the functions view rather than to go straight to the control unit's view. 
However, if the task in question is to program a specific control unit, then this can be done more quickly and directly via the control unit's view. Which application is automatically started in Eccentry after the vehicle identification process has identified the following vehicles? Assign the vehicles accordingly. Here's the correct answer. Eccentry Diagnostics is started automatically if, in the vehicle identification process, Eccentry detects model series 204 or any later model series. For all the other model series, DAS is started. Which diagnosis processes does Eccentry Diagnostics feature? Drag the text to the correct position. Then confirm by clicking on OK. Here's the correct answer. Let's take a look now at the control unit's view of Eccentry Diagnostics using the by now familiar model series 204 as an example. To do this, switch from the functions view to the control unit's view by clicking on the corresponding tab. The start page of the control unit's view displays all the control units that are installed in the identified vehicle. This list is more or less the same as that which you are familiar with from DAS. What happens next depends on the case in question. If there has been a complaint, a quick test can be carried out first. To do this, you have to click on the Start Quick Test button. If by contrast direct access to the control unit's information is required, click on the control unit in question to highlight it. The highlighted control unit is then retrieved by clicking on Continue. You can obtain the same result by double-clicking on the control unit you require. Let's look first at the procedure of a quick test. Please click on the corresponding button. Whilst the quick test is being carried out, the number of control units being queried in the vehicle modeling question is displayed. Once all installed control units have been determined, the results of the quick test are shown. Various symbols for the control units are displayed on the right side. To find out more, move the mouse across the symbols. The results of the quick test can be limited by using different filter criteria. Try this out by clicking on the buttons for the filter function. Limiting the results of the quick test by using the filter function provides greater clarity and enables you to locate faults or events quickly. The quick test carried out at the beginning of a diagnosis procedure is known as the initial quick test. This is saved and can be retrieved at any time by clicking on the corresponding button. If required, further quick tests can be carried out. In each case, these are started by clicking on the Start Quick Test button. Try it out yourself.
In this example, the second quick test carried out differs slightly from the initial quick test. Retrieve the initial quick test to see how they differ. You can switch between the display for the initial quick test and the results of the last quick test at any time, as required. You are now familiar with the most important functions relating to the results of the quick test. To select an individual control unit, the control unit in question must be highlighted in the list. Further details are displayed by clicking on the plus symbol. You can retrieve the control unit you want by double-clicking on the control unit or clicking on the continue button. Try it out yourself. By way of example, select the ESP control unit, which is already highlighted. All the information available on the ESP control unit is now displayed under various tabs. The horizontal layout enables you to retrieve individual items of information quickly and conveniently. It is therefore much easier to handle than the system you have been used to up till now. Click on the tabs in turn. Any new functionalities in the respective tabs will be highlighted. Click on them to get more information. Initial startup, coding, etc are dealt with in a separate computer-based training program on Eccentric Flash. From which tab can existing environmental data specific to a control unit be retrieved? Click on the correct tab. Here's the correct answer. Environmental data specific to a control unit can be retrieved from the Fault Codes Events tab. 